everyone. We thought we would give you a tour of Blackbird. She is a Fontaine Peugeot Orana 44. That's 44 feet or 13.1 meters. I thought I'd start with the outside and then we'll go inside for a tour of the salon and all the berths. So ready? Let's go. We are starting on the port side going forward. This is the trampoline. Really fun for watching sea life and hanging out. Here's the chain locker. Guy, if you can come over and take a look. Lots of good stuff in there. Chains, ropes, butane. It's actually pretty big. This is an important little piece of equipment. This is our plank. <laughs> we use this uh, when we end up docking in a marina. And this is to get on and off your boat. And we put it in our sugar scoops to walk to and from the boat. That's because here in the med, you are docking your boat stern to. Not typical in the US where you're docking your boat on the side. Now I am on the starboard side walking back. And here we go up to the helm. Yeah, this is a pretty convenient um, helm location not only for visibility up here, but also if there's people inside and you need something, you can just yell down. And uh, people can sit here and keep you company while you're up at the helm. So it's actually really nice and it's roomy. There's like, you could fit three people at least on this bench. The only thing we aren't particularly fond of, weather protection, it's not much. And we definitely need to come up with a better solution. We're thinking of adding another hard top, but instead of fiberglass, it would be another solar panel. So we are working on that design and um, we'll have to show that to you when that happens. Also at the helm, we have our B&G instruments, newly installed VHF, so we don't have to run inside and use it, and then USB. So when we're navigating, we usually use the iPad and uh, you definitely want to have that charged up. This is the engine starter and shutoff, and this is the RPMs for each of the engines. These LCD screens right here, those actually show the engine hours on each of the engines. A really, really wonderful thing that we were able to do in Greece is to install solar panels. We actually were able to get someone to weld us a frame, and then we attached four solar panels. They're 350 watts each. The design, unfortunately, wasn't exactly as our plans showed, but it's worked well. It's super sturdy. Uh, we went through some pretty big seas at one point. Well, big to us. Actually, they were pretty big. A lot of slamming and the, um, the frame held up perfectly fine. You didn't even budge. So really happy with that. I'm here to show you the salon because our microphone uh, went totally kaput. We have no idea why. So a lot of the um, video we took is no good. So I really want you to see it. So we're going to reshoot it and uh, invite you in. So please come on in. The salon. And it's really pretty darn roomy. The salon includes the galley, the nav station, refrigeration, and some storage in these, um, these benches. I don't know if you saw a video of us installing all of our electronics, but uh, Guy can actually fit his entire six foot four body in this bench. And I think he got quite comfortable in there at some point. <laughs> Another fun addition that we uh, put in, this is for Ginger the cat. And we wrapped, or I wrapped this um, rope around the uh, table leg for her scratching post. And she actually loves it, and she uses it all the time. In the salon, we have two, two refrigerators, and this is a small refrigerator, kind of like your standard, almost looks like a dorm room refrigerator. But it works pretty well in conjunction with, or with this large fridge. And it has a tiny freezer, but it's pretty big. 
And right now, um, it's not even near capacity. And um, when we do the crossing, we're gonna end up only using that for meats and cheeses and, and some fresh milk, but the rest we're gonna leave in dry storage. So here's our nav station, uh, where we have the Zeus 3 and our Triton, the Victron battery and solar panel um, output, house battery and all the other controls. Basically that's water, fuel, and battery. We also have our circuits right here. And this is actually relocated from the engine room and this is the AC circuit box. And I think this was an ingenious idea and uh, it makes way more sense, much more sense to have it here where you can access it much easier and it's gonna stay dry. Oh yeah, and the stereo. Not the greatest stereo, but it's great to have music. We installed a new VHF here, and then we also installed one out at the home, which I think we already showed you. Oh yeah, we have two different outlets. We have 110 and 220 right here. Okay, now to the galley. <laughs> one step. This is the galley, and um, it's not huge, but it's definitely workable. I was able to bring some of our kitchen stuff, but not everything, which is still in storage. But what I've brought has been pretty, actually, I haven't missed much of anything except a couple things. But I definitely have to have my good knives for cooking. And basically, this is where we have plenty of storage for our plates and cups and glasses, dishes here, three burner stove, and an oven. We have some storage under here and here. Here we have a freshwater faucet and a seawater faucet. And uh, when we're at certain locations, we'll wash with seawater and rinse with fresh. Throughout the boat, we have LED lights, uh, these little pocket lights. We actually installed this LED strip lighting, which is great. There was no lighting here, so we couldn't even uh, really see at night when we were doing the dishes or cleaning up. So that's been great. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring you down to the berths, and this is on the port side of the boat. And this is the main, I would say the main guest berth, and it's pretty roomy. It's almost, I think, as big as a queen size bed. All of the cabins have their own uh, bathroom or head. Here we go forward. Turn this light on. And this is uh, the other guest berth. And under this bed here, there's our water maker, which we'll soon use once we start getting underway on the crossing. And this is a really cozy little, little room. This is one of my favorite things. This tiny window. And it opens. Let's the best breezes through here. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of storage in here. Under the bed, in here, in this locker right here, and then these hooks right here. So it's, it's great. And here's the escape hatch, which is also a view. <laughs> and uh, in case the boat ever flips over and you need a place to escape. Now we'll be going to the starboard side. Here we are in another guest berth, but it's not going to be a guest berth for a while because we're using this as our pantry and storing a bunch of other things. But again, it's a pretty roomy place, a lot of storage under the bed in these lockers and it has its own uh, bathroom right here. And then uh, I didn't show you in the last one, but this is a door to the V berth in, in the front of the boat. And that is also um, a storage area. And that's where we put everything that we don't use very often. Like we have extra sail, some bedding, tools. Here's what all the bathrooms basically look like. There's a shower right here <sighs> that you just pull up and you actually attach it right here. Toilet, storage. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to the owner's berth. Through the mosquito netting that we hung, and that's been a necessity. This is the owner's berth. So it has the raised bed, 
and there's uh, plenty of room to walk around, which is wonderful. A lot of storage under the bed. We have, you want to see, he show these two giant, one giant locker, which pretty much holds almost all of our clothes. It also has some hooks for hanging and these uh, little cubbies. And it's great, you can uh, you have a view out, out of the bed when you're lying there. So this is the cockpit and this is where we spend, I would say, most of our time. Actually, she spends way more time out here than we do. And there's a lot of storage in, in here where we keep, um, keep our uh, fins and snorkel. And uh, a great feature that we use a lot is this. This is awesome. <laughs> I have to show you this simple but super cool and very useful addition to the frame to our solar panel. And uh, we added this in and it's actually used for exercise, for pull-ups. We use it for TRX attachment. We've used it to um, hoist uh, things up off of the boat or off the dinghy. And it's actually really good for safety too when the boat's moving and you just want to grab onto something when you're walking by. It's so simple, but it is so useful. So if you are designing a solar panel um, arch, maybe consider adding something like that. I mean, we use it all the time. Okay, I'm gonna do my one pull up. <laughs> Ready, go. Okay. Oh, and another uh, addition out here is a, another scratch post for Ginger. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Sailing Blackbird. Bye-bye.